So I have been in a bit of a funk lately. Life has just been feeling really blah and I've just been feeling really anxious in general about just everything in life and like, what am I doing with my life? I have a lot of goals, but I'm not doing anything to actually achieve those goals. So it feels very hypocritical that I, I, want, I want certain things, but I'm not doing anything to be the person that I want to be or to follow those goals. And that's silly. It's about five o'clock on a Tuesday. And normally I would just say, give up now, Shannon. <laughs> like it's halfway through the week. What's the point? Just survive, get through the week. And as much as I'm tempted to do that, I've been doing that and it's not serving me. So something's gotta give. So instead of walling in my self pity for the rest of the week and not doing anything, we gotta start with the basics. I've been eating like garbage. I've been sitting just, just most of the day. Like obviously some of it is work related, but I haven't been kind to myself. And so I'm going to start tonight. So this is for whoever needs to hear that I feel you, I see you, and it's okay for life to feel poopy because then we don't appreciate the good times, but maybe sit in that feeling for a little bit, but then just staying in that feeling doesn't serve you. I think sometimes we do have to just sit in a sucky feeling, but when we do it to a point that's kind of self-sabotaging, then I think it's like, all right, let's, let's figure something else out. And so I wanna set myself up for actual success and what I wanna do and have time to do things that I wanna do and not just feel bad about myself and then binge food and watch a bunch of shows. So here's to making a change. If you are also wanting to make a change, here is your kick in the butt, your PSA to just do it. Like do what you know is good for your mental health, do what you know is good for your physical health, do things that bring you joy. Anyway, that's what this this whole video is about. So I'm going to start tonight because I don't want tomorrow to feel this way. I'm gonna try to do a little cleaning. A clean house for me is a clean mind and like a peaceful mind. And so I'm almost finished putting some laundry away. I'm going to vacuum our bedroom and just set myself up for a nice chill evening and a good morning tomorrow. So that is the plan. Also, because life is never just linear and simple, we are helping take care of my dad's dog. My parents are in Germany right now. <laughs> I'm so jealous. So my brother had him over the weekend and last night and today we get the terror. He is a two-year-old husky puppy. Now we have a sleepable bed tonight. Now I want to vacuum. I hate vacuuming. Isn't it just such a bother? Ugh. It's so hard because it gets dark so early. Who's that? <laughs> She's so pathetic. It's okay. He coming? I set on my clothes for tomorrow, so hopefully that will help me actually get ready tomorrow on time and not have to think. And then I have, after I'm done cleaning, I'm gonna shower, I think. A shower always helps boost your mood. And I think I'm gonna do, try to do like a face mask and some fun, cliche, self-care things tonight. But now we have to do Lily's favorite thing. And my brother and sister-in-law are on their way to do puppy drop-off. Of course I didn't get done. Okay. Yeah. 
Your world's about to change, Lily. Bear's coming. So, it's fine. I didn't get done what I wanted to get done, but today I had to go on my way anyway. So, the bedroom is clean. I'm super happy about that. Lily! Oh, that's a crap on the crap one. So we've got this he didn't finish from this morning. Okay, I see it. Lily! Sir! Here. Take her toy. She got your toy taker. She, she just wants to be a little taunter. I do really you gotta have both of them. The tree looks nice. Thanks. Stop. You're being ridiculous. Lily, get your own toy. You're literally the biggest brat. Hi, Dum Dum. All right, thanks for dropping them off. Yeah, no problem. All right, guys. All right, Lily, come here. All right. Lily, no. Lily, no. Lily, come on, Lily. Eat your food. There, eat your food. No, why do you guys want each other? <laughs> We're so dumb. <laughs> No, Lily. We're like those step parents. Oh my god. <laughs> I know you want someone else's kid. <laughs> oh, it's fine. Oh, you don't like that. Oh, slobber. It's oh. fun start. Is that sarcasm? Yeah. Be smarter than the husky. <laughs> There's nothing. I walked in and fell. That's fine, right? Hey, yeah. sneaky butt. You can lick all you want, Bear. Lily! She's like, mmm. You guys know this is here? So my plans to have a nice, relaxing, self-care evening. It's kind of. Happened. Kind of are, a rye. Oh, you're talking to you I'm sorry. No, <laughs> <laughs> Bear. Oh, yeah. 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 Yeah.
I think that's helping. My The rest of my diet has definitely been garbage still. So we're working on that, but it's nice that it's clearing up. So I just want to do a little face mask. Just, just cause, cause it feels good. And <laughs> they are. What are you doing? What are you doing, buddy? You're not sleeping in the bed. Ugh. You're not sleeping. You know they probably both will. I know. All right, kick out. Everybody off. <laughs> Everybody off. Come on. <laughs> Is the bed too high for you? Come on, bear. Come on, a bear. baby. Bear. Come here. Bear. Get off. Bear. Get off. Bear. Bear. No, bear, get down. Go. Oh, stop it. No, guys, get off. Get off. Well, this is just perfect. Get a little butt face. Oh my gosh, this is chaos. All right, my face is completely dry, so I'm gonna go ahead and wash it off and then brush my teeth and go to bed. I definitely didn't follow through with what I was hoping for, but last night was a bit, not like rough, but just did not sleep great because of the dogs. Bear stepped on my face at like three something. So Ronnie walked in and then we tried to set it back in and I was gonna try to not have him sleep in the bed, but then he was just like circling the bed like a shark. So we ended up having him in the bed. <laughs> I'm gonna get dressed really quick and then take these dogs out and make some coffee. We got all of the puppies right off. Goodness gracious. There, get off. Come on, you can jump down. <laughs> it's okay, come on. Come on. <laughs> there. <laughs> come on, buddy. <laughs> Because that's my morning workout, carrying him down the stairs. Okay, guys, you puppies ready? Let's see how it goes with both of us. I know, I know, guys, wait. We got the puppies. For my makeup, I keep it really simple, I think. I use this Nars Tinted Moisturizer. Can't tell you much shade. Put that all over my face. Concealer. A lot of what I do for makeup, I can't 100% tell, and usually someone checks me before I go out, but I think because of that, I just don't bother too much. I'll just put like a touch of bronzer on. I have zero techniques. No one ever taught me how to do anything. People attempted and it just seemed overwhelming. We're done. It looks almost the same, but I feel, I feel a little bit more awake. I'm gonna put this little argon oil stuff. I use shampoo bar and conditioner bars and I like them. It's just they leave it a little dry. Good enough. As you can see, I'm pretty low maintenance. I haven't really been able to do anything that was for me because I know this this kind of vlog has turned into, it's like an amalgamation of a few days of my life and like trying to feel better. And so I think sometimes it's good just to see people when they're not feeling great, but they're still doing things that they have to do. So that's what I'm doing. Like kind of put myself together. And that's as good as it gets right now. Let's see.
I think I'm gonna try to walk bare one more time just because he makes me nervous. And so that's what I'm gonna do really fast. And then grab my coffee, sit down and start teaching. Lily, don't be jealous. It's just a bear's turn. Oh my gosh, I need my coffee. As I reheat my coffee the second time, so I tutor on Cambly. This is a bit of a chaotic and like the worst example of how to do it. But this is life. This is the behind the, the scenes of life and trying to figure out how to do things. Doing this with these two dogs is flipping not ideal but I don't really have any other options. We're having a good time. Okay, I feel more collected. I'm going to continue tutoring until about two, I think. Then I will catch you later. If you want a mood booster, seriously, talk to people from all over the world because they're just incredible. I've spoken to people from three different countries today. I've spoken with someone from Turkey, someone from Saudi Arabia, and someone from China. Like, what kind of job can you do that just in one day? And like people who just want to learn English and better their lives. And it's just cool. I had this really great conversation with this woman about wanting to do things differently and not wanting to succumb to judgment and opinions of others. And that she says she feels really brave because for her culture, she's Chinese, that for her culture, that she should feel happy having her stable job and that she should feel good because she makes a good salary, but she feels really disheartened and that she wants to go back to university and change her life and make it better. And she says that she feels really brave and she wants to do that. And she doesn't understand why other people can't think like her. And I was like, oh. Yes, I totally agree. This woman who's literally like on the other side of the world in a totally different life experience than me, she gets me, she gets it. My long story short, I worked in social services. I was burnt out. I thought I had my dream job. I absolutely hated it and it was completely destroying my mental health and I quit. And it was security, it was great health insurance, which is like, I hate that that's our defining factor in the United States. And everyone like didn't get it and I was miserable and luckily Ronnie's a really supportive partner. I am completely aware of my privilege that I had finances to give me a cushion to figure things out a little bit, but I have my master's actually to teach ESL. And so I've always wanted to just go abroad and teach and just be able to connect with people. And so I found Cambly and it was really cool. This is not sponsored. I don't even think they sponsor things. You can tell my coffee kicked in. <laughs> The pay isn't great, like, it feels like kind of a little bit of a kick in the gut, ego-wise, just like, ah, uh, not that social services paid well, so I'm used to a crappy salary, but it feels really empowering to just come downstairs and sit at a computer and do something that is fun and that is so enjoyable. This is how things should feel. You should feel empowered and passionate to do what you do, and you should be encouraged to feel that way, not discouraged and told to just like that what you have is good and stick it out and like why aren't you happy with that because i don't know that's just toxic why why do we perpetuate that that feeling i don't know this this kind of work makes me feel good it makes me feel empowered it makes me feel like humility at the same time because these are pretty incredible people from all over the world that are learning a different language and be able to connect with them on such a human level to be able to just talk about your favorite movies and practice discussing that kind of vocabulary or talk about their children and their family and their hopes and dreams for life and their routines and, and how they want to better their lives and what they want out of life and their hobbies. And it's like, how incredible is that to be able to just hop on a call with someone from a different continent and just talk about life with somebody and help them work towards a goal and at the same time nourish and fulfill your own goal of connecting with humans and learning about culture and the world 
it's just i'm feeling a grateful moment and gratitude is something that i desperately need to strive towards more i'm not very good at focusing on the positive i can be very negative and that's something i want to work towards getting away from and so yeah i know like this is very like part-time and like not fixed income and it's very scary and i feel like our world like even right now I'm trying to refrain from making judgments on myself of like you have the degree Shannon like you have you had all the tools you had all the privilege why did you throw it away because you thought you deserved more you thought you deserved better because like the status quo isn't good enough for you and it's like that's such that's such a negative toxic mindset and and I wouldn't condone a friend to speak to themselves that way and like why am I allowing myself to give in to the other people's expectations of myself and completely ignoring what I believe and what I hope and like completely discounting myself and not allowing myself to have dreams at 26 years old is if I think you're too old to dream anymore. Like you just have to settle down and do what you're supposed to do. And ugh, the supposed tos are just a load of horse. Man, I'm just in my feels. Any hoodaloo. That's my soapbox. Hello, it is several hours later. I think the last time I talked to you, it was like early afternoon. And now it's 5.31. I had some really great conversations with students, which was really awesome. And the dogs behaved pretty well. And then therapy was good and needed. Always just difficult, but good. Hey, guys. 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 Okay. Now I think it's playtime. I'm going to have a stress relief tea to try to chill out and the dogs are going to run around the house and ruin everything. Today is Thursday, December 15th. I started this vlog and I was like, I feel kind of crappy. I'm going to start, you know, filming to show like how to make it better when you're feeling crappy. And that coincided with taking care of another animal. That's a very high energy animal. I love Bear, but he's a very high energy animal. It just feels like a lot. It's 8.56, I start at nine today. But yeah, I think sometimes like we are like, I feel so stuck in a rut, like how can I get out? And we just need, the, we have this feeling to, that we have to get out right away. When it's like, that's not how life is sometimes. Sometimes you have to sit, you have to sit in the suck and that sucks. <laughs> I feel like I'm just, I'm, I'm hardcore sitting in the suck. So you just have to make the suck as comfortable as possible. I pretty much threw on what I was wearing yesterday, but also like with pajama bottoms. So I'm like, let's be comfortable. I threw my hair up, I put concealer on and that was it. And I was like, Ugh, I can't be bothered because last night Bear was in bed and it was raining and Lily has a lot of anxiety and was panting and shaking. Maybe I slept for like an hour or so in that bed. Lily was upset and Bear was moving. And then I came down to the couch and slept on the couch. Then around 5.30, I went back to the bed and slept until about eight. Definitely, I didn't get much REM sleep. So I just feel really rough this morning and I'm up. Yeah, I'm not gonna make any expectations for myself today. The only expectation is to eat food of some kind and to complete these teaching hours like that's all I got this morning I tried to like I listened to some Christmas music after I gone downstairs when I was making my coffee and feeding the dogs and that felt nice it's like those little things that you just have to focus on it's gonna happen and I love that in the book so I would definitely recommend so far I haven't finished it I've really been enjoying that book it is now like 11 30 this morning I taught from 9 to 11 and then I took an hour break and then I'm gonna do 12 to two. Yeah, I just have like, I think it's like a peanut butter granola and I threw in a banana and I'm gonna have another coffee. So we're kind of having breakfast now. I'm just gonna kind of watch some YouTube and eat and relax for 30 minutes and then hop on again for my next two hours of lessons. But I'm done. I'm going to take Bear out. I think I'm just gonna take him out. I'll take Lily out for a shorter walk later, but I'm going to take Bear out for a nice long walk to get some energy out. So maybe he's less of a butt face today. So let's go do that. I just need to stand and be outside. Look, he looks so majestic. Bear. 
I'm so, I'm really trying to get back into working out. What are you doing? What's your plan? What's your goal? Anyway, I don't know why. I just haven't wanted to work out. I'm not feeling it. Sometimes part of getting out of a rut is just resting and just being tired and being okay with that and letting yourself be tired and not pushing yourself out of it before you're ready to get out of it. I'm contemplating an ab workout. That's the only thing I feel like I have energy for. Ab stuff is like my favorite, so. Okay, yep, that's exactly how I thought this was gonna go. So I'm going to attempt to do. That's so slobbery, I don't, I don't. I'm doing a 15 minute mad fit total core workout. Do not mount her! No, no, Mary, no! PG! <laughs> underneath the bum. So we're coming down, holding to where your lower back can be pressed into the floor. more than I intended it to, but I feel good. I'm gonna do some stretching and then Ronnie should be home. You wanna test your level of zen? I'll give you bear for a day. I feel like, despite all the chaos and the comedy of these two hooligans. I feel like just a good old stretch is so underrated. I want to clean up a little bit. Might try to shower before Ronnie gets home, but I don't know, we'll see. This is just such a realistic version of life and trying to feel better when life just isn't getting less hard mentally and finding the little joys and not doing this whole protectivity like I'm gonna change my life in 24 hours. Like, that's dumb. Life doesn't happen overnight. Life is obviously just a slow growth. So, we have to remind ourselves that. Take each day as it comes and try to find the joy in it. And it's okay to rest. And it's okay to sit in the suck. And sometimes those sucky periods last longer than others. But do things to take care of you and nobody else matters. Don't try to impress anybody else with your growth because you're the only one that matters. So, Thank you so much for watching this somewhat discombobulated video, but this is life and this is the reality of trying to get out of a rut. Sometimes you don't get out of it. And I think videos that just show people fixing their problems in one day or over the weekend are really unrealistic and can be a bad example for those who might be sitting in an uncomfortable feeling for a bit longer so so I'm there right now and I hope for anyone who's also there that you know that things will get better soon and also just do things for you and do things that bring you joy again thank you so much for watching and I will see you in next week's video spoiler alert we got a puppy and so I will be introducing you to our new little boy next week have a good week bye